Hello, welcome back to Real Sushi Life Coding. In this episode, I'll be sharing with you the breakdown of how I created um, this abstract um, kind of like a rainbow mac and cheese. It's pretty abstract, but it's uh, pretty simple, although it seems like a lot of things going on. So this one um, is basically just an instance of these objects. Okay, so the whole thing is made simply using nodes, but there's a lot of things going on. Like, uh, first of all, the shader is just like a, either this random color or just normal yellow mac and cheese. So that's the shader of this object, beta. And then there's this alpha, the alpha objects that's using geometry nodes and doing all kind of instancing uh, while it's also being displaced okay so originally what is this exactly this is um, an icosphere so I made this icosphere and I've, I subdivided it five times so we have a lot of resolutions and this is something that I generated generate using stretch of nodes procedurally and then on top of that with this icosphere I have this weight paint that's being uh, also being generated on the fly so we could uh, actually see the the original icosphere it's this one and if I go to weight paint we can see this is the this is the the noise or the weight that's being generated using this vector noise. I can change this to Bernoulli or cell. Let's try Bernoulli, and I remap the range of noise into something else. I can keep it between zero and one actually, but in this case, I will just randomize it I can multiply the noise I could add more subdivisions but this is just to generate the the weight and this weight will be read by the geometry nodes to create this random shapes macaroni oh mac and cheese sorry uh, let's get rid of this wireframe. Okay, now we have this. Let's save. So, so far it's pretty stable. It's not crashing and it's pretty fast. So, the noise is being pushed by this frame info. That's why it's like uh, swimming. It's, it's giving this nice effect. On, on top of this, I also use this displacement to displace the icosphere before I instance any objects into it. Okay, so with the objects itself, it's this. It's just a cylinder that's bent. So you can see it's updating. So I can I can turn this into a circle. into a ring okay so but I'll just keep it like this like a spaghetti so this is instance into this guy let's take a look at geometry nodes so the geometry nodes is rather simple again just random distribution get the weight from spectro Randomize the position if you want, and then randomize the scale, randomize the rotations, and I I try here to mix the attributes so I, I can control the scale of the macaroni or uh, of the mac and cheese. So I can actually control this map like that. 
So it's missing two attributes. And the result is this point instance of the geometry. So I really like the geometry nodes. It's, a, it's really simple to use once you understand what's going on. And it's, it is actually really fast. So now the only way to export this that I know is you can file export as USD. This one will export everything. And it's, it can be pretty heavy. However, maybe you can export it as FBX. I'm not sure yet. Um, OBJ does not really work, so you can't really do anything here. If you hit apply, it will disappear. Um, but other than that, it's it will work if you render this out. So at least we can render this quite easily. So yeah, so that's how I created this abstract looking mac and cheese and so let's go back to the shader make this colorful once again so there you go this is the final result hopefully you find this interesting let me know what you think and i'll see you next time thank you bye